Good morning ladies and gentlemen, good morning boys and girls and welcome to Cantel School, welcome to your school. We're here today to talk through the wider reopening of our school from the 15th of June to Year 10 students. Can I start off by thanking all of our community for engaging in the process of the wider reopening. That is the feedback that you've given on the letter that I sent last week, but also uh, on the PowerPoint that Mr Creswell sent and also the risk assessment. Those are all version one. There will be version two and version three coming out. And that's because we really do want to hear from the whole of our community with regards to the plans that we are putting into place. Can I start off by talking about some of the logistics with regards to the wider reopening? First and foremost, the decision to make a wider reopening from the 15th of June has been made because we have a lot more intelligence and information with regards to the rate of local localized in, in, uh, infections. Uh, we are linking up with the uh, Director of Public Health for Southampton and uh, she is providing all of the secondary head teachers and indeed the primary head teachers with regular information on the trajectory of those uh, infections. So whilst it is absolutely the right time now to start to get students back in for face-to-face -face contact, we will be continuing to monitor the situation and will inform you accordingly. From Monday the 15th of June for the wider reopening we would want students to come in in non-school uniform but sensible uh, clothing. That is because the expectation is that when students come back home that their uh, clothing is bagged and then put into the wash straight away and that they wear fresh clothing every day where possible. This reduces uh, the chances uh, of, uh, of spreading uh, COVID-19. We would also strongly recommend that staff and students do not travel by public transport. We would advocate students walking to school, we would advocate students biking to school, and we would advocate students coming in uh, with uh, in a car uh, a lift from those that they live with. If you are going to be dropping your son or daughter into school, uh, please uh, drop them off outside of the school because the uh, car park will be unavailable. So this doesn't necessarily need to be straight outside of school, of course. It can be dropped off in one of the uh, neighbouring roads. We've, we've got two uh, main entrances for students to walk through and we'll talk about those in a minute. But if students are going to be coming on on bike, and of course it's an incredibly healthy way of coming into school, then this is the way that we will be going through. So as you can see, labelled very clearly, this is a bike entrance only and that students are to queue in the marked boxes. As you would expect, we will have staff uh, carrying out duties at various different duty points across the school. As you can see, the boxes are very clearly marked out and students are expected to stay in the boxes if there is a queue. As we get up to the top of the hill, we would ask students to wait here and for them to listen very clear, carefully to the member of staff who will then allocate uh, a spot for them to go through and drop off their bike. And as you can see, the students will be coming through this way, dropping off their bike, coming back, and as they come back, the member of staff uh, will sanitize uh, their hands. And this will be a key theme throughout the school. While staff will be encouraging students to wash their hands at regular intervals, to use the hand sanitizers available at regular intervals, we do need to teach our youngsters to take responsibility uh, to do that themselves, both in school and of course at home and at the wider community. So once students have uh, sanitised their hands after dropping off their bikes, uh, they'll come this way through to the next uh, staff duty point. As you can see, the entrance uh, into the school 
in the school, as in the turning circle, are all marked with socially distanced uh, markers, which are two meters uh, apart. So we ask those students that are coming in by five to come this way, to separate out and to wait here until they are told where to go next. For those students that have been with us for the last 10 weeks, those students uh, of uh, key workers, we would ask you to come in through the staff car park and we would ask you to come up the stairs, which as you can see are socially distanced. Being careful that there are no bicycles coming uh, this way. And continue down all the way down to main reception and your entrance would be the main school entrance. So we're now stood at the red and the yellow entrance, yellow coming in in the morning and reds coming in in the afternoon. Uh, this entrance is uh, closest to Glenair Road. So those students coming from Bassett, coming from Highfield and Portswood, uh, they tend to come in this way anyway but those students that come uh, from the centre of the city, that come in from uh, the Violet Road, the main part of Violet Road and the Flowers uh, Roads, uh, tend to come in through the main entrance, but they would need to continue to walk down if they're in yellow or the uh, red entrance to come in through here. And as we walk through, you can see that we've got, again, these socially distanced markers. We've got a zigzag approach, which allows uh, for the best form of social distancing. So students will zigzag around, but of course, as always, we would expect our students to be sensible here. Uh, if there are uh, more numbers uh, queuing, then we would expect them to be staying within uh, the two meter threshold. Uh, as the students sweep around, we will have a member of staff here, which will be the year leader uh, assigned to that particular week, who will then uh, sanitise hands, ready to go in. So we're now stood at the red and the yellow entrance, and we're going to follow the yellow uh, students and the way that they would go through. So as you come in through the main entrance, you would turn left, you would follow the uh, clear signage, Again, we have barriers in place for zones that are out of bounds. Through these fire doors that need to remain closed. Straight through this way. Again, staying on the left hand side, you can see that there is a very clear, clear marking for uh, left hand side and right hand side. We're now going into English. This is the zone for English and uh, the zone for the yellow uh, groups. We come in here. Again, You'll see that we've got plastic uh, wallets in this one. Students sat here, wallet uh, with all of their information, their books, their laptops, whatever it might be on the left hand side. Students sat here, ready to work with their teachers uh, at, the, at the front and as you can see, uh, socially distanced uh, apart. So, what happens if a student wants to go to the toilet in the yellow zone? Again, the procedure is very, very much the same. Ask the teacher. The teacher will make sure that it is uh, safe to go to the toilets. The student will then get up. Come out of English. Coming through to IT, turning left. Going past the IT office, going right, and as you can see here, 
the yellow zone toilets, male, female, and disabled. So the bell goes for break time. Uh, we're in the yellow zone. The teacher uh, goes out and checks the corridor and then we'll dismiss the students uh, table by table. My table's been asked to leave. I'm coming through and following the other students and the member of staff. I'm turning right uh, out of English and going down the same stairwell that I came in from. Turning right at IT. Going down using the uh, yellow stairs. yellow zone, which will also be the, the blue zone in the afternoon for break time. Students will sit, socially distance, as you know, two to a table. There will be sanitizers out here. There's a sanitizing table there. Uh, there will also be wipes uh, available for students to wipe down the areas before they sit down and after they sit down as well. The students are welcome to sit on the, uh, on, on the brick work, uh, but again, they need to be sensible, they need to be uh, social distance. Again, in every break area, there will be two members of staff on duty. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as we come to the end of this virtual tour, I hope you'll agree that we have done as much as we reasonably can to mitigate the risk uh, in school. I've already spoken about uh, the information that we've received more locally which talks about the rate of infections and you have my absolute guarantee that I will keep you informed when I receive that information on a regular basis. With regards to this device that I've been uh, carrying around with me on the virtual tour, this is a thermograph and we will be taking the temperature of our community when they come into school. With regards to any sign of illness, should that be before school or after school, we must take a really robust view on this. So if your child is displaying any symptoms whatsoever, please do not send them in. If they show any signs in school, we will contact you straight away and ask you to come to pick your youngster up. And if the symptoms aren't too severe, then we'll be asking for your permission to send them home. In terms of laptops, we will have laptops available in every single zone. We'll have laptops available and prioritized for the option subjects. We are encouraging your child to bring in the device or devices that they have been working on at home. Please do encourage them to bring in their phone, bring in their laptop, their Chromebook, whatever the device might be. It will help them to uh, transit the work from school and to home, but also it will give you peace of mind that you're able to contact them during break time, uh, before school and after school as well. In terms of food and drink, we have to be very clear that we will not be serving any food and drink on site. Students are more than welcome to bring in a snack or a packed lunch, but they must also bring in a bottle of water. All of our water fountains have been taken off to discourage students from using them. And so where possible students should be drinking from uh, water that they brought in from outside uh, of school. If a student does run out of water uh, we do have bottled water available but of course that is really limited. So it really only leads me to say thank you for um, viewing this virtual tour Please remember that this virtual tour is to be viewed together with the following documentation. My letter from last week, Mr. Creswell's PowerPoint, the letter from Mr. Gill that is going out today, the risk assessment uh, updated version two that will be sent out today, and also fifth uh, and lastly, and 
as important as all of the other documentation is the updated behaviour policy. Please take some time to read these documents in full, to share these with your children before they return. It goes without saying, we're really, really looking forward to seeing your children again. We will do so in the safest way possible. Thank you very much.